one. Go ahead. Good morning, and thank you all for joining us online today. My name is Larry Creed. I am a municipal counselor here in Three Rivers, and I have been since 2021. I'm also a member of the Water and Sewer Committee. I'm glad to be here today with the member of Parliament for Carrigan and the Minister of Veterans Affairs, the Honorable Lawrence McCauley. His Worship Ed McCauley, Mayor of Three Rivers, and I have to pass on the regrets of the Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure, the Honorable James Albert. He was not able to attend to the previous dinner. Today's announcement is about the future of our community and creating an opportunity for the current and future growth in the residents of Three Rivers. I will now call on Minister McCauley for today's official announcement. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you, Larry, and uh, it's a pleasure to be with uh, with you, uh, Your Worship, and it's unfortunate Minister Edward had to leave but the, for this important announcement for Three Rivers, but of course they're making a substantial investment, the province, building a more prosperous, resilient, and sustainable Canada for our children and grandchildren has been a top priority of our government since the very beginning. This is why we continue to take strong climate action, grow our economy, and create good jobs. Jobs right here on PEI and right across Canada. One of the best investments we can make in our, is in our infrastructure. By making these investments, we are not only strengthening our economy, we are also strengthening our communities and creating even more economic opportunity for islanders. So today I'm pleased to announce on behalf yeah, of my, my friend, friend, the Honorable Dominic LeBlanc, Minister of Intergovernmental, Intergovernmental, Intergovernmental Affairs, Affairs Infrastructure and Communities, Communities, that our government is investing more than 1.9 million to provide folks in the town of Three Rivers with, the, with better water distribution and wastewater services. This funding will support the construction of water mains, a gravity sewer, a lift station, fire hydrants, manholes, and related infrastructure. This project will upgrade the water and wastewater system in town and being a centralized service to about, bring a centralized service to about 80 households. Once completed, it will improve the overall health of residents by consistently providing them with clean and reliable water. These new systems will also help to protect the environment and keep our community healthy. Today's announcement is just another example of all the levels of government coming together to make a real difference in the lives of islanders. By working together on these projects, we are building a better and stronger PEI for everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Minister McCauley. I uh, appreciate all the hard work that you have done at the uh, federal level for us. I know Minister Howard would love to be able to expand upon this, but he is not here at the time. But the town of Three Rivers is very appreciative of both the federal and provincial governments and their commitment for partnering with us on this important project. To speak more of the benefits to our community and what it will bring, I will call upon the mayor of Three Rivers, His Worship, Ed McCauley. Thank you, Larry. Uh, Honorable Minister McCauley, uh, the absent uh, Mr. Aylward, uh, Minister Aylward, but yes, this, uh, this kind of partnership is something that is really vital to the future of Three Rivers. And I think rural PEI, these are, these are kinds of initiatives that really kind of speak to the residents and the needs of the residents. We are in a position right now where there's a lot of identification of uh, uh, residential development and also business development. And certainly infrastructure of this sort is just a, a step in the right direction and you know, a, needed, a needed step too, because we're at that point now where our system, you know, needs needs to uh, needs to kind of more uh, expand to take on more residents to take on more business as we reach outside of uh, our urban into the more rural areas. So it's going to be a big step for the development of Three Rivers, and certainly uh, I really like the idea of the three levels of government working together because it shows that. Uh, 
all all government interests are directed towards the residents and the constituents and the taxpayers. So, and for that, I want to thank uh, Minister McCauley and, uh, and uh, the Department of Inter Infrastructure and Renewal and also uh, Minister James Alsler for, for their contributions and for their government's contributions to the future of Three Rivers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Worship. Um, before I conclude this, I just want to, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that this meeting is taking an unceded original Mi'kmaq territory. And at this time, I do want to also recognize our long-term chair, Debbie Johnson's work in facilitating this, along with John McFarland, the original members, and our associates, Cody Jenkins and Cindy McLean, who have worked very well and tirelessly in order to bring this to pass. Um, I will now turn this over to the media line for any questions, and I thank you very much. No media. We have no media, so I honestly, I guess uh, I'd ask everyone to stay online and stay on the call just so we can get a photo. Thanks a lot, guys. I truly appreciate it.